New tonight, developing downtown Dunkin Donuts Park has become one of the most popular destinations in Hartford. And tonight we can reveal what's next for the neighborhood around it called Downtown North. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is live there with some of the answers for us tonight. Matthew? Yeah, Dennis, you know, this ballpark has really been one of the city's greatest success stories. Four years ago, there was nothing here. It was not built, and it was tens of millions of dollars over budget. And now look at this. It's constantly packed. People love it. And it really brings a vibrancy to the capital city. So the mayor says it really just makes sense to build around it. Here it is, the next chapter for the city of Hartford and Dunkin' Donuts Park. Take a look at the highlighted portions. This is what will be built in the years to come. Apartments, stores, and possibly a grocery store. For many, many years, uh, there was a no man's land, a sea of asphalt that separated downtown from North Main Street and Albany Avenue. Each summer, tens of thousands of families flock to Dunkin' Donuts Park for yard goat schemes, and the city is feeding off of that energy. The stadium will still be the centerpiece and will anchor the development. It allows us to begin knitting our neighborhoods back together. This lot directly south of the park will be the first phase. Ground will be broken this spring. The city says this will be a mixed-use space with more than 200 apartments and retail space on the ground floor. Overall, we're looking at a, at a development that is uh, approaching, uh, potentially approaching 1,000 units of residential uh, as well as a uh, significant amount of retail and commercial space. With the timing of the yard goat season starting, many are worried about parking. Mayor Bronin says that's being accounted for. Trying to work with a number of partners to make sure that there's adequate, uh, appropriate amount of parking to support both the new construction and the existing uses. The entire project will take several years to complete. Stanford's RMS companies will be heading it up, and you may know some of their previous projects, like the Goodwin Hotel, right here in Hartford. That's the latest live here in downtown North. Matthew Campbell, Channel 3 News.